Oh, folks, what's going on? Joe's knee on here. Let me tell you, it's been a long morning. I had a great ride up, made beautiful time, and uh, I'm approaching the summit. Uh, I got on the trail this morning, beautiful, about 43 degrees. One other vehicle at the trailhead, thank God, being Columbus weekend, and the, the leaves are in peak, the foliage up here, I figured it was gonna be packed, so. Um, I got on the trail, about two and a half miles in, I made a wrong turn. I climbed a 2,000 foot mountain, unexpectedly. All the way to the summit, realized I was in the wrong place. All the way back down I went. Got a little mixed up, but I did get back on the right trail. I made it in four miles to the lean to down on Lily Pad. And then I started the bushwhack to the summit here of Peaked Hill. Why do they call a 2,000 foot mountain a hill? So I just bushwhacked some really ragged, steep terrain. I know the camera don't do nothing. Don't do it no justice. But one of my wise ass subscribers, when he watched my backpacking and old frontier videos, he said, is there any, is there any hills? He was kidding me, but that wise ass subscriber has become a really good friend of mine. His name's Craig. His channel is Craig Dwella. C-R-A-G-D-W-E-L-L-A, -L -L Craig Dwella. He's in the White Mountains this weekend doing a solo trip himself. We're almost hooked up, but I couldn't, I couldn't get out yesterday, so I went my way, he went his, and guess what? It's all the more video that you guys get. How do you like that? So yeah, this has been a really, really tricky bush bushwhack up here. So on the way up, I've been building myself cairns so that I will be able to find my way down. Just like that. All right, I'm getting to the summit here. You folks got to check this place out. Now remember, I'm spending the night up here. This is going to be unbelievable. I'm just coming to the summit right now. Oh God, it's good to be back. I figured it's been about 17 years since I've been up here. Now don't look like much yet, does it? Wait till you see the views over here. Look at how plush all of this, this lichen moss is. And it's very moist, very nice. This is all solid bedrock up here. There are trees, but they're real short and uh, plenty of nice little spots for me to get out of the wind if I had to, but that's not gonna be the case. Not at all. So, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not gonna get turned around here and I'm gonna establish another cairn. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Whoop, I get this cairn up. Okay. Cool, we'll keep going. Man, oh man, what a beautiful day it turned out to be. I hit the trail this morning at about 40, 44 degrees. Oh, oh man, wait till you see this, folks. Wow, wow. Wow, ha, <laughs> wow. Just as I remembered. Man. Whoa. Whew. I'm going to give you a 360 here.
unbelievably gorgeous. Yeah. Now, I did spend the night up here a couple years, well, a couple years ago, 17 years ago, but I don't quite remember where I had my little campsite. I'm trying to, uh, trying to scope it out because I figured that maybe I would use the same site because I had built myself a little bit of a fire pit and uh, I was considering maybe using that fire pit tonight but I've got my I've got my emberlit stove my titanium stove with me saw that in my load out wow this is so cool up here really really cool up here there's all kinds of little places to for me to set up but it seems if I remember correctly that one spot I had maybe it was over here was really nice the funny thing about it was I'll never forget about five o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning this partridge started drumming on a log that was I was in a very small one person mountain tent and uh <laughs> Maybe that's where I set up. I think it might have been. I think I might have set up right here on this tuft of grass. Wow. Just gorgeous. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to knock around up here. See if I can actually find where I had that little setup. But... Once I find a place to get set up, I'm gonna get back to you folks. Boy, I wanna show you this over here. Man, you wanna talk about beautiful. You can really start to see the colors of the leaves out there. Man. those mountains look in the background beautiful huh all right folks I get set up I'll get back to you